welcome back at the kitchen with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen, guys, giving your favorite dish, your favorite drinks. Anyway, today I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a nice, lovely, no, guys, I'm going to show you the quickest way and the easiest way how to cook off your ribs. It is a barbecue ribs and it's going to go with some rice. I'm going to give you the full recipe, so enjoy the recipe. And this is from Chef Ricardo and the team. Thank you so much. Secret behind the ribs is this. I just washed off my ribs as you can see. This is it right here, guys. I just washed off into some lemon juice so you can use white vinegar. This is gonna be a 30 minutes recipe. A lot of people, oh my god, I can't manage to cook the ribs. It's gonna take too long. Alright, look at this guys. I'm gonna show you two, four, six, eight pieces of ribs inside of this pot. Alright? Lovely. Eight pieces of eight pieces of ribs. It's not a lot. It's just a few pieces. Okay. And basically, you need to go somewhere. You're gonna go to function or somewhere, and you need to get this right. But basically, I'm gonna put a medium-sized white onion. I just remove the skin. I just cut it up into half. All right. This is it right here. And I'm gonna put a piece of a ginger. I just crush it and put it straight inside of it. A few cloves of garlic inside of it and all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of salt not too much just a little pinch of salt what I did I boil my kettle and I, I boil my kettle straight fully to the top and I'm gonna put some boiling water inside of it like this turn it like a miracle so guys as I can see I empty my kettle straight inside of it that looking so lovely and nice and I'm gonna show you all you can do a simple recipe without you need to stress yourself at all all you need to do is a simple put a pinch of browning in the water not too much browning I don't want to get it too black all right then what we're gonna do next we're gonna put a pinch of mixed herb these are options guys. You don't need to put the herb if you don't like. You can put, I'm not gonna put any too much of this artificial season. I'm just gonna keep it natural and real. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna cook this for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, not an hour, not a half an hour, 15 minutes. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna boil my kettle one more time and I'm gonna put some more water and take it probably about three quarter, okay? 15 minutes. So it is on the stove and what we're gonna do is gonna take it straight to the barn. 15 minutes on the stove guys and it's gonna be one of the mo most amazing recipe ever. Nice and lovely so basically take a look. Well in the video earlier I was saying it I probably take about roughly 24 or 15 minutes because this one is tough. But basically, I want to take them out like this, one one. And as I can see, really look inside of the pot. These looking really lovely and nice. And I like the way they look. And they're not too dark. I just put a little bit of browning inside of them, inside of the water, to give it that lovely flavor. But anyway, roughly take about everything would have come up to about 45 minutes, roughly. I'm getting at the moment with it but as you can see it looking good and it's a good look nice and lovely so basically I'm gonna show you how you can get the sauce and everything ready so basically this is what I'm gonna be using I'm using a barbecue sauce right here this is the HP barbecue sauce and I'm, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna simple put a little bit inside of this no weapon I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Lovely. Um, I might just simply put a little bit of water inside of the buckle and simply shake it out. Rinse out the buckle. A lot of people doesn't know these things, but I mean, yeah, rinse out the buckle like this and pour it inside of it like this. Get everything out of it. I got some tropical sun jerk barbecue sauce. I don't want to use too much of this one because this one is really strong. The 
gonna use a little bit of this one. Nice one. Little bit of brown sugar for stickness. And then next what we're gonna do now is put some honey. Hopefully about two tablespoons of honey. That for thickness. For stickness. one and simple give it a whisk see that look at that beautiful nice one Then basically get your oven tray and then dip it down at the sauce. Put them just like that. So we're gonna do all of them like this. Um, what I wanna simply say to you, remember, preheat the oven and make your oven get really hot. Nice one. And you can see how it look. Right here, that looking so fantastic. Nice and lovely. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 10 more minutes. And that's it. Look at that. Beautiful and nice. Lovely color. I hope for the guys that have enjoyed the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Very easy and simple recipe. As you can see from Chef and Carter Cooking Show. Nice and lovely. So I just take them from the oven, guys, and look at them. Lovely and nice. Really sticky and lovely. And that's exactly what we are talking about. are so beautiful guys look at those beautiful and really nice yes that's exactly what chef Ricardo is all about look at those ribs really nice and beautiful so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel and leave your comments we've got a lot more recipe like this coming out we've got a lot more can go with some rice, whatever you like. About five minutes. Okay, this is definitely enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye. Nice and lovely. So as you can see, exactly where Chef Ricardo is all about with this lovely ribs right here. Hopefully, you guys, let us enjoy it and subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching the Chef Ricardo cooking show. We got a lot more recipe coming out. And as you can see, four to five minutes, everything tight, guys. Really lovely and nice. So enjoy it and thank you so much and see you next time and this is from the team working very hard. Bye -bye.